Pearl, I heard that special name, Blake Singley. His boxing crew's been on fire right now. Wow. JC Rhodes in the red out of Blake Singley's team. Duan Polk out of the blue corner. Here and we Rhodes, go. Rhodes looks so composed here. So composed, so sound. And not that Duan doesn't, that Polk doesn't, but I just seen the difference in the demeanor mm -hmm. between the two. Rhodes has a little snap to that jab. I like it. Yeah, both gentlemen oh, figuring nice out little their one -two. range. Yeah, both gentlemen are here figuring out their range, finding Look. their targets. Rhodes with a little wake-up call halfway through round one. See if Ref lets him work. Nice job by both gentlemen there. Pro, when, uh, when you have boxing matches, do you love that the ref lets you work when you guys can get tangled up? Or you like, uh, hey, when you get tangled up, you want to be broken up right away? Yeah, no, I do. I like, and even in grappling, I think that it's always better when you can work it out yourself mm. or between the two of you, you guys figure it out. Whenever someone touches, they disrupt your thinking, they disrupt your timing, the feeling, and, and those are really important aspects to the fight is the feeling and it being in the moment. Great job there. Shook, shook, shooking him off. Rhodes is definitely putting the uh, more of the pressure here in the last 30, 45 seconds. He is, but Polk's got the timing down right now, and he's doing a fantastic mm. job, like you see, countering, staying calm and composed in the pocket, and finding his finding his little openings. Good movement by both men. Yes, I agree. I, I think that. Rhodes seems to have much more success on the outside, and as he's moving here, he seems to be finding more success than getting tight in the pocket and trying to fight there. I mean, Polk just has the timing and the counter striking down right now in this moment. And one man to another. I'm a little jealous of a Mr. Polk's calves, all right? <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. That is interesting. I did not notice that. That would be a man that would notice that. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> now, great first round right there of action right there. Uber close, uh, you know, Rhodes definitely maybe led the dance a little bit more, but Polk had his uh, little uh, back and forth, so really close round one. I agree, that was a very, very close round. Both gentlemen were able to land big shots. Both both gentlemen got hit by big shots. Right, here's the highlights um, right here. And let's see, like this is this is Polk here. Look at that counter striking, man. He's, he's, he's doing a great shook. job there, that shook. Beautiful, beautiful. And look, staying tight in the pocket, staying tight, staying technically, defensively sound. That's a great first round by both men. Absolutely, I agree with you, Dave. Let's see, guys, round two. Polk in the blue corner, Rhodes coming out of the red. Polk trying to lead the dance a little bit with the jab. We're live here, guys, at the Pensacola Bay Center for Island Fight 72. Pearl Gonzalez, Dave Van Auken. I think when it comes to the power, it almost looks like Rhodes has <laughs> slight advantage there. Nice little showcase of dominance Ooh. there. Look like a bump of heads. Rhodes is putting it on him here. Well, he was not happy by that. Oh. Wow, big shots throwing right now. Emotional fighting here. Both gentlemen are going to have to hash this out. <laughs> I love it. He's like, oh, you picked me up? Okay. Exactly. Look, he's upset. Wow, Rhodes is throwing heavy midway through round two. He's exerting a lot of energy, too. I think that Polk is doing a great job of staying composed. He, mm. he, you can tell that Rhodes is, is emotional in this moment right now. And sometimes you need that emotion to, to kind of kickstart you where you want to be in the fight. But Polk is doing a great job of not allowing that energy to overcome him and, and kind of fall into that same sort of fight. He's staying technical and he's staying composed. 
fact, this is to a layman term. When I'm at home and I get emotional and I'm telling someone to do the dishes around the house, I start to lose my energy. So as I'm going to change this into the boxing round, I would assume Rhodes with more emotion in this round probably use more of his gas tank. Is that uh, fair to say? Potentially. I okay. mean, it, it depends. I think so. Yes, you can tell. Look at the strikes. He's grimacing as he's striking. You can tell he's letting a lot of energy go. But I will say this. I think he took that second round because, yeah. Yeah. because of that. And sometimes you need that aggression, that that emotion sure. to take a ground, especially when the fight is very close like this one is here. He, he had to establish dominance. He had to establish some sort of real estate in this fight. You saw in the beginning, Polk picked him up and right. tried to kind of chest up on him, and and uh, Rhodes responded. There's our guy, A.B., Alan Belcher, in the corner of J.C. Rhodes. Belcher just had a beautiful knockout two weeks ago at Game Bread Boxing. He's fighting Frank Tate in a huge, huge main event heavyweight contender fight, Bare Knuckle FC, I believe June 11th. Yeah, it's coming up. Bare Knuckle, uh, you can send the check my way. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> This could be the deciding round three. Yeah, Polk definitely looks more uh, composed. Nice little counter there to start off round three by Polk. I love how sound Polk is. He's, he's staying in his shell. He's staying in his stance. He has a, a very veteran ship to him. Mm -hmm. he just Composure. Kind of, it, or, it kind of oozes out. Big shot. Ooh, Polk is letting it go. Nice. Very nice body work and inside work by Polk. Belcher's uh, yelling at Rhodes, telling him in and out, in and out. Polk is taking the center of the ring. Ooh, big and, body shot there by Polk. Landing big, big shots. And that's beautiful, you know, getting that body work in. He can tell that Rhodes came in and he let, let go of some of that gas tank mm. in that second round. And now he can. He can allow for some of his gas. He can let go of some of his gas, if that's the right way to say it, Dave. <laughs> Halfway through round three, razor sharp round, razor sharp fight. Polk is in the center. Rhodes is dancing around, getting a couple shots off here. Yeah, he's got great, he's got fantastic movement in this fight. I love his lateral movement in this fight. But I'm going to give it to Polk as far as controlling the ring here mm. and, and, and having and remaining and keeping in control in this third round, the center, and owning the ring. We're going to go to the old, looks like Rhodes Ooh. is throwing more shots, but I think Polk's shots is probably a little bit more significant, maybe a little bit more cleaner. Uh, really close fight. That was the end of round three, Polk versus Rhodes. <laughs> Alan Belcher wanted one more round. He wanted a fourth. <laughs> Great fight, great fight by both men. And again, you know, we're talking about uh, lessons all night long so far for all these amateur fighters, but how important is it to get, you know, this is gonna be a razor sharp victory for whoever wins this fight. Uh, you know, should I give them a little bit more of the confidence boost or at the end of the day, it's like, hey, this is a lesson for both men. Shouldn't really matter who wins and loses. On the amateur level, I think this is, it, it's more important to just get the experience to understand. Both gentlemen here did some very, very good things in here and, and, and both made mistakes. And that's what we're here for is to learn and get better. And I think that as an amateur, if, if you can take that emphasis off of having to win, having to have these incredible moments and just learning the fight, taking every second and, and utilizing it to the best of your ability to get better so that when you get to that professional level, you are composed, you are experienced, and you are prepared for whatever presents itself.
And one thing you said that was beautiful, it's not even about the lessons of the physical, uh, the lessons of the emotional side or the mental side of the fight game. Maybe uh, in a future fight, J.C. Rhodes, when something happens, doesn't go his way, he might not get as emotional because he went through this tonight at, here at Island Fight 72. Absolutely, so, uh, absolutely. I think that he had a very dominant third round, or his second, was it second round? Second round, second yeah, round. a very dominant second round, and I think that it was great, but that third round, he didn't have the gas that he had in that second. Maybe that was the emotional tear. All right, here we go, the verdict with our ring announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards for a decision. The scoring is as follows, 30-27, 30-27, and 29-28. For your winner, by unanimous decision, from the red corner, J.C. Rose!